Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off Shavaria, with the exception of its secret path, which we'll be doing later. In this video, we're going to be doing Bubble Lane's story. Uh, we collected one story moon, I believe, that one, previously. The other, the other three we haven't done yet, so we'll be doing those and we'll be fighting the boss in this video. Uh, since the boss is fought using a gushin, I put it off before because I figured that stopped us from crouching and all that. But we're gonna do it now. Um, I believe you also have to use a gushin to do this. Uh, basically, you want to climb up to where the moon is by rocketing your way up on these things, these ledges here. It's more probably the easiest of the of the story moons to do. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da. Ba -da. Da -da -da. Boop, boop. And yeah, once you do each of the four little story moons here, you get a switch you can press, and you have to press all four switches, because each one breaks open one of these fountains, and blops this guy on the head. And the reason we want to blop that guy on the head is because that's the boss, and once we've blopped him all four times, we can fight him. Uh, so next up, we're going to be heading over this direction. Uh, uh, there's a moon... Uh, one of the story moons is on top of this uh, lighthouse here. Uh, we can't get up there just yet. Uh, I mean, we can. We're, we're about to, but... We, we can't, you know, get up there from the outside. We have to take an underwater tunnel. So we're going to make our way around to the underwater tunnel now. Uh, there are some purple coins just around here I'm going to be nabbing. Uh, I'm going to try to get all the purple coins here. Uh, we should be able to. I don't think there's a reason we wouldn't be able to. Um, we may have to uh, exploit some two-player mechanics and things like that to make it easier, but... I mean, I mean, like, the 2D areas might not be doable, is what I'm saying, without, without the ability to Cappy Hover. Okay, I'm taking a lot of hits here, let's just not do that. Um, I believe to go down in here you absolutely need to be capturing a Cheap Cheap. Um, I could be wrong, it may be possible to do without that. Uh, might just have a look around and see. Um, as I mentioned, when we came here the first time, the easiest uh, life part in the game is over here, which is pretty nice. Uh, basically, he's got to hit that chest, and it has a life part in it. Ba -da 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 -dum. There we go. I'll hit this checkpoint too, so that we can get back here more easily. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get down there without actually capturing a cheap cheap. I'm pretty sure this one's impossible, unlike the one in Lake Kingdom we did earlier. Uh, because you can see, um, this, uh, this, um, Bublanian? I don't, I don't know what the term is. Let me have a look. You might not, it might say it in here, or it might not. I don't know. Yep, bub Bublanian. Nice. Yeah, this Bublanian here is um telling you you need to be a fish to get down this tunnel. But we're going to try to do it anyway and see how we go. No, we can do it. All right. That, I didn't really expect that. Okay, um... Well, we're going to try to do this without actually capturing a cheap cheap if we can. Um, since we managed to get in here, I think we probably can do it. Uh, basically, the main threat here is... Uh, once we've swum past these fellows... Uh, if we move back here, we can get... Which will fill up our air, which we desperately need. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, the main threat, which we're about to behold is the fact that this place is filled with these enormous, chumpy fish uh, that do damage and must be carefully avoided. So watch out for that. Um, okay, we're, we're, our air is depleting very quickly, actually. Um, and 
there's a lot fewer bubbles in this area than I remember there being. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, we might need to keep fast swimming here. I'm glad that we grabbed that life bar part because otherwise I don't think we'd be we'd be able to do anything here. Um, okay, we're still having. Oh, coin, 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 coin. Not coin that thing. This thing. Ugh. Okay, okay, so it is possible to get through there. I actually missed some purple coins. Uh, we might go back for them with a the cheap cheap, just to make it a bit less terrifying. Uh, but yeah, you can get through there without actually capturing a cheap cheap. Which we just did. Uh, we are running low on air again, because your animator in this game is quite short, but we can breathe over here, so not a problem. Uh, I just want to make sure we miss anything else there. Okay, I'll probably forget to get those purple coins and then be like, where are the last few purple coins? So that's a bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to that. The pipe comes out on top of the lighthouse. And you can just hit the checkpoint flag if you want. Uh, and you can grab the moon. Ba da 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 Uh, and that'll break open that seal there, which lets us push the button, which lets us bean the mollusk. Is that a mollusk? It's like a squid or something. The boss's name is, is Mollusk Lansour. I don't think the game ever tells you that, though. Okay. So the last one is over there, um, where you do a very sunshine-esque task using a gushin by cleaning off all the goop. Um, we can actually go grab the life apart again. It will have respawned while we were in the tunnel. Uh, so we're going to do that. Just for the lulls more than anything else. We don't really need it. This part's pretty easy. But I might want to, you know, do something without turning into a fish later on. So probably going to have the extra health. So yeah, um, you can see this... Um, as lava, basically, is equivalent to Sunshine's Goop. It just does damage to you, and you need to clean it up by spraying water from the gushings at it. Uh, I believe it's impossible to reach the moon otherwise. The moon is actually... Uh, you can see basically where Cappy's text box was, just in the middle there. Uh, the moon is under the water in that spot. And I get the feeling we can't get down there without... Let's just see what happens if I touch it. Okay, it actually it actually worked exactly like regular lava. Um, you damage boost off it, so you can't get through it unless you clean it up. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, this stuff is pretty easy to clean up. You just got to spray it with gushing spray, and it just breaks open. You can access the water underneath, which is good because I want to refill. Oh no! Some purple coins hiding under here, so it's useful to spray up up that area. Oop. Okay, I'm having some problems with um accidentally uncapturing this gushing. That's a bit frustrating. Oh. Oops, that was a mistake. Yeah, if you shake the controller, you can actually spray out in lots of directions at once, which is handy for this bit. You can just clean up everywhere, nice and easy. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's just grab this. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da, ba -da, da 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 So yeah, that one's really easy, um, but you have to use the capture to do it. I was kind of hoping there'd be another way, but it doesn't seem to be. Unless maybe you clipped through the wall to get under the under the lava, but I don't know if that's possible. Also, Mario just sort of stands on that platform under the water, which is kind of funny. Uh, all of the lava has now disappeared as soon as you grab the moon. Uh, you don't have to worry about cleaning the rest of it up if there was any more left over. Okie doke. Uh, so when we hit that button, the boss is going to start attacking. Um, I kind of would like a life up part, but I don't really need one. It should be okay. Um, this boss is unique in that it's the only boss in the game that you fight 
uh, in the kingdom, like rather than a special boss area. So you can actually just go and get other moons while the, while the boss fight is going on, which is kind of hilarious. Um, so yeah, boop, booping him with the last one like that will set off the boss and make them fightable. Uh, they knock down like that. And now they're fightable. And the boss music starts playing. So what we've got to do to fight the boss is get a Gushion and make our way over to the boss and basically spray his head. Because you can see this lava there just like we cleaned up a second ago and we have to do the same thing. Uh, the boss flies away from you quite quickly, so the fact that Gushins can sort of turbo nozzle through the air is very important. Uh, the reason I'm not fighting the boss just yet is I want to go over here and demonstrate an interesting feature of this boss battle, uh, which is that if you stand in one of these pipes and go into the 2D area, okay, maybe one of the others might make it a bit easier to demonstrate. These four pipes will lead to the same areas to a bit of it. As you can hear, there is actually an 8-bit version of this boss battle music. This is the only one that does this, because this is the only boss that you can actually fight um, in the normal kingdom, and you know, therefore the only one where you can just sort of sneak off and go do 8-bit stuff in the middle of the boss battle. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to actually fight the boss now. I'm not going to bother getting other moons. Uh, Cappy's just giving us a bit of a hint because I'm doing the wrong thing entirely. But I know what I'm doing, so not a problem. Yeah, you have to get a Gushin, uh, which lets you fly up using a rocket nozzle sort of thing, and also launch yourself forward using a turbo nozzle kind of thing, because this is clearly a sunshine-inspired kingdom in many, many ways. So yeah, you fly towards the boss like this. You have to be careful once you run out of water, uh, which can which is pretty much the main difficulty here. It's very easy to not get hit. And you just want to spray the boss from above like this. Uh, and yeah, I ran out of water, as you can see, so I fell down on the boss. Good demonstration of that, really. So yeah, you just do that. Now the boss isn't, like, on fire anymore, so it's actually safe to land on his head. You'll just bounce. Um, and you get the idea, we just want to keep chasing the boss like this, in order to get nice and close and spray his head again. It's not on fire anymore, so you'd think it might not be as useful, but it still works, exactly the same. Uh, I'm going to grab a heart, just, just so that we have full health, it's annoying me that we don't. I'm not actually worried about dying or anything, I just, I, it just bugs me. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to fly over on top of this guy. And yeah, that's, that's, how, that's, that's how you do damage to the boss. You just keep doing what we just did. Uh, and... Probably one of the easier bosses in the game, really. Bam! Oop, accidentally uncaptured. Uh, the game does not kick you out of the Gushin, and I just, I just did it accidentally. Uh, so you just can keep chasing under normal circumstances if you don't accidentally leave your Gushin, for example. And I think the boss gets faster, and he gets these attacks that actually have a chance of hitting you. Although a small one, because he's still a, not a very good boss. Unless you accidentally uncapture again, because your controller is playing up. So yeah, you just basically want to keep moving at full speed all the time. You just dodge a little bit, it's not hard. Ah! Stop on capturing, Mario. You are meant to stay, stay and stay in the in the gushin. Be a gushin. Feel octopus today. Oh my god. Woo me. You must woo me. Oh my god! <laughs> it happened again. Um, maybe I need to fix up something with my controller. Hang on. Let's see if I can just repl replace this rather rubber band and see if that helps. I guess I could just ditch the rubber band because it's not actually affecting gameplay in any any way because we're in water and we can't crouch anyway. But, you know, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm taking a lot of hits here because I keep accidentally ungushioning. Uh, 
I cannot believe I died to this boss battle. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, I actually reset the boss battle. Wow, okay. I did not expect that at all. Um, you can actually, since it reset the room, the area, you can just go grab this life up heart now because it'll be here. There you go. Delicious. Okay, let's go fight the boss for real now. I did not know what happened when you when you actually like died to this boss. I've, I've never done it before. Because this is this boss is very very easy. Oddly enough, if a gushion falls on the boss, when you're not capturing it, it dies, but if you're capturing it, you just bounce off. Which is interesting. You think it, like the gushion would behave the same way in both circumstances. And like, if you're on the gushion, if you, if you are the gushion, it would, you just uncapture and it would die that way. Or vice versa, or like if you bounce off in both cases. But it doesn't. Ah, <sighs> wait me. Yeah, when he's twirling around like this, he's quite quick. It's a little hard to catch up. You probably have to wait for him to slow down. <laughs> wing ding wing. Basically the main thing that makes this boss like at all a challenge and not just stupendously easy is your limited water supply. So you have to keep dropping down to the surface in order to get more water which stops you from chasing at full speed basically. And also slows down your attacks because to actually attack him you have to spray him from above with water. Which means you need to have water obviously. As far as I know, this is the only way to fight the boss, but I could be wrong. There we go. So yeah, it's not hard. I just did silly things. Wow. <laughs> Um, once you've killed the boss, as you can see, the fountains activate for some reason. I don't really understand it. And they fill up the glass. And you can see the cork is now floating in the glass. And you can see also there's a painting down there, which we'll be looking at in a bit. Uh, so yeah, you can't actually jump off the glass because there's this wall around the side, which is an interesting decision. I guess I need to make sure you actually got this moon once you managed to do the story and earned it. Anyway, let's grab it. That's it, the glass is half full. I mean, it's, it's completely full if you have a look at it. You can see that there's all, all sparkle water filling it up now. Anyway, that's the story of Bub Lane. Um, you can now see it's a bit brighter everywhere. And the music playing is a lot more mellow now, which is nice. Um, there's also a bunch of other moons we can grab around the place, so that's exciting. Uh, but that's the story, anyway. Um, and yeah, as you can see, everyone's cheerful, and the moon rock is glowing, so we can activate it now, etc., etc. We're not going to do any of that. The only other thing we're going to do in this video... Actually, actually, we're going to do two things. I changed my mind. We're going to do two things in this video. The first thing we're going to do is make our way over here. Um, there is no checkpoint in the glass. So, so to get back into the glass, um, there's actually a couple of tricky ways to do it. But the easy way to do it is just to jump into one of the fountains, which will launch you over here. The tricky way to do it is to get a Gushin up as high as possible, which I believe is that Captain Toad ledge is the highest place. 
uh, where that tent is, you can see it in front of us, that little tiny tent there, uh, is to get a Gushin up there, and then to fly all the way over here, using the fountains to refill your water in midair. That is completely doable and is very hard. Uh, the, the intended way is just to jump into the fountain as Mario, like we just did. Uh, anyway, um, what we're here for is this painting down here, which as you can see, goes to Lake Lamode. So we can finally get this secret path moon from ages ago that we've been holding out to get. There it is. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! If we now look here, Lake Lamode is complete 100% while permanently crouching. <laughs> so what we've got, we've got Cascade, we've got, we've got Cap, which we can complete, we just haven't gone to the where the hint art needs to be yet. Cascade we've done. Sand we cannot do, because of various reasons. Lake is done, Wooded is done, Cloud is done, Lost is done, Metro we can't do for various reasons. Snow isn't done, but will be. And back to Seaside. Uh, so let's head on back through the painting. The other thing we're going to do is the hint art, so that, um, as usual, we want the area to make sure everything's reloaded, so we can get all the A-side moons before we before we move on to the moon rock stuff in the next video. Or, you know, however many videos it takes. Um, this is a much larger kingdom than, uh, snow, so we might need more than one video to do the A-side stuff. Uh, so the hint art is where we're looking now, basically. It's on, on that ledge in front of us. Kind of far, um, so let's make our way over there. Where you fast swim, by the way, is the same controls as for diving in midair. You basically tap the ground pound button and then press Y. It's it's pretty pretty intuitive. I think it's a little trickier uh, than doing a dive, which the game is really happy to let you do whenever you want, basically. Uh, anyway, here's the hint art. As you can see, it's the word keep written in white text, and the moon is just above the space next to the E, basically. Between the two E's in keep. So, you might be wondering what that means. Um... It doesn't mean what I thought it meant at first, which is something to do with Bowsette's castle, because a castle has a keep. It's actually somewhere else where that word is printed on a something black, and we can ground pound above it. Specifically, we're going to make our way over to the Odyssey here. Oop. Hello. Hello, coins. Come back. Yeah. And we're going to cash in the moons we have. And we're going to make our way back to the Metro Kingdom. Because the Metro Kingdom is full of roads, which happen to be black and have white writing on them. I should not have skipped that cutscene, because clearly this is taking an only a long time. Oh well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, here we are in Metro. Uh... Where are the other purple coins in this kingdom? I don't think we missed any. I mean, obviously we missed a bunch, but I, just, I don't know where they could be. I might have a look off camera. Uh, like I did for some of the other purple coins that we missed earlier. Anyway, all we have to do is go over here. You can see the word keep here. Uh, and here's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, it's the word keep written in white writing on the black road, and you ground pound here between the two E's. Also, Mario's working, walking on this, this road barefoot. That would really hurt. In case anyone was wondering. That would really hurt. <laughs> I don't know where the other purple coins could be. Yeah, I'll, I will check off camera, um, like I did for some of the other kingdoms, just to try to Figure that one out. Anyway, we're back to the Seaside Kingdom, 
And we're not going to do any more in this video. That's the video. We did the story. Uh, we did the secret path we can get to now. And we did the hint art. So when we return to Bub Lane, it should have reloaded everything that reloads when the story's done. Because we, we switched kingdoms to do the hint art. And so in the next video, we will be ready to do a bunch of minor moons. Uh, Seaside is big, so there are a lot of minor moons to worry about, but we should be okay. We shouldn't have too much trouble. I skipped the cutscene again. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, of course, a lot of this kingdom is underwater, and you can't crash underwater, so while we're swimming, we won't be particularly affected by our restrictions. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay. But for now, that's the video. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and next time we'll be growing a bunch of minor moons in this kingdom. Hooray! Ow. Oh, and don't forget, Wimmy.